Hello there, Steve Heline with Lepo Group, Lepo Rents, Bobcat of Worcester, and um, this is another short video in a Why You Want Bobcat series that we're doing. Uh, we did a uh, short video last week on how Bobcat reaches Tier 4 emissions. It's really neat. We don't use a DPF filter. Um, this week we're going to talk about why you want a Bobcat driveline on your track loader. The driveline is really an often overlooked major component to your track loader purchase. You really need to pay attention to your undercarriage. So we're going to go over the differences and why we do it the way we do it, how we do it the way we do it, and why you want this. It's pretty cool. Alright, so on a track loader you have a drive motor or a planetary, you have idlers, you have rollers, and then some of them have suspensions. And uh, I'm going to go over how the other guys do everything first, and then we can circle back and show you why we do things a little different. But um, first off, the other guys use a planetary, and a planetary is a gear set designed to produce gear reduction, torque. Um, planetaries are slow. They're really slow. So your travel speed is compromised. You're about five, four and a half to five miles an hour in a low range on a planetary track lure. Your high range is only like seven or seven and a half mile an hour. So typically they're slow. What also happens on a planetary is you have oil in there to lubricate your bearings and keep everything lubricated. Well, planetaries spin upwards of five to 5,500 RPMs. That's smoking. And when you spin that, that speed, you develop an awful lot of uh, heat. And heat isn't any good for any hydraulic system, hydraulic, you know, hydrostatic system, drive motors, planetaries. So when you develop that kind of heat, what happens is you, you pretty much cook the lubricity ingredients in that oil. You cook that out of there so they lose their um, lubricity. They lose their ability to keep everything lubricated. So that usually happens, you have accelerated wear on your bearings and parts in there because nobody's changing their hub oil every six months, you know, maybe once a year if you're lucky. Some guys never even do it. But when you're spinning at 5,500 RPMs, you're cooking the lubricity ingredients out of your oil and it's just, it, you end up having failure. So what Bobcat does is we use direct drive motors. Um, we only spin at 300 RPM. So we don't have that heat buildup. We run cool. And the irony is we spin a lot less. We keep the lubricity ingredients in our oil. So we have proper um, you know, lubrication and we, we, we last a lot longer there that way. We have a lot less parts in a direct drive motor because you don't have all the stuff associated with a planetary. But the irony is spinning at 300 to compare to 5500 is our travel speed. Travel speed's awesome. Our low range, we're six mile an hour. High range, we're 10 and a half, 11 mile an hour. So you get a lot more travel speed, which means faster cycle times. If you're running gravel, you know, back to the septa tank and back, you can get a whole lot more done compared to a, a planetary drive system. So that's really cool. You want to pay attention to that. Now, everybody has idlers and you have your rollers in between. Um, our rollers are, are sealed. I think everybody's are pretty much at this point. But they're sealed bearings. You don't have to grease them or put oil in them. Um, but I am going to talk about this up here. We use a dual flange 
front idler and um, that keeps you from detracking and gives you a lot more stability side to side stability but most importantly this is rigid it doesn't move it doesn't go up and down there's guys out there that say hey you know we have a link up here and gives you a more cushy ride you don't want that and, and I'll tell you why this is a grading machine you're grading with this you want to grade flat okay when you have a front link and you're grading and you want to cut a high you know you know a high point out you're gonna roll your bucket out to cut that your front idler is, is gonna raise up as you go down and so now you're pushing and you're coming to the crest of that high point and you want to try to you know dump that into the low point over the over it now that link is going to release that idler so subconsciously you adjust for that release it's very minute but it happens you end up grading in waves we need to grade flat you want a rigid front idler so you can grade dead flat and all you have to do is adjust your your bucket angle and that's all you have to worry about you're not it's a whole lot less work to just cut with your bucket angle instead of having to constantly compensate for the release and the tension of a linked front idler so you want you want this system you want our drive motor you want our dual flange front um, you know rigid idler so it's pretty cool this this unit um, has a five link suspension she's a mess right now but um, awesome machine so with a five link suspension uh, we be, basically it's a torsion suspension you know all these trailers have torsion axles I love torsion axles they're nice and smooth um, that's what we're doing here we have five torsion um, links in here and it just rides it's really smooth it's nice so I think that about sums it up but um, yeah you need to pay attention to the undercarriage it's it's one of the biggest components to a track loader so thank you very much uh, once again this is Steve with the Lepo Group Lepo Rents Bobcat of Worcester and thanks a lot for watching